All right, so we've got the accounts that we want. And so what we want to do is actually bring in the data. We're going to do that by hitting, you're in, in the cell by next to the first company and right below the count, and you do equal, B as in boy, D as in David, P as in Paul, open parentheses, go over to your company, hit the F4 three times, the function four three times, so you lock in that A, and then comma, and go up to the account, hit the F4 twice, so you lock in the row. So BDP, and then, you know, if you're on the same row I am, it's dollar sign A5 comma C dollar sign four, if you got the same columns I have. And then you can just hit enter, and it's gonna bring in the data. And then I actually hit the home key, and then hit the comma, so I have everything in the exact same format. And then, then you can just you can just copy this down, and then you can do Control C, hit your Shift key and right arrow, and copy it over. So you get all the data that you need. We got a few NAs, but it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do, since we just have a few NAs, I'm going to go down to the ones that have NAs. I'm just going to right click and delete those rows so I don't have to mess with the NAs. It makes it a lot easier to deal with. So <coughs> I recommend you do the same thing. I, I deleted like four companies, it looks like. Four or five. I didn't keep track. So, so, so delete delete those those lines that have NAs on them. And at this point we have we have pretty good pretty good data to work with. So here's our data. There's my company names. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to pause it there because this is a pretty important junction.